OU Medicine and the OU Presidents Associates. Welcome back to Sooner Hoops with Lon Kruger. Well, it is great when you come across a story where dreams really do come true. With the story of Sooner Trey Slate, here's Jessica Cootie. What if your dream was so close you could almost reach out and grasp it, but yet you were still just on the outside looking in? It was tough. Actually, like, I've always wanted to play here. I wanted to play and not being able to play and just being so close to it. At times, it was, just, it was a little frustrating and kind of, it, it kind of shook me a little bit, but I had to, I think it really helped me mature a lot and grow as a person, you know, just dealing with adversity and patience and things. Growing up, more than anything, Trey Slate wanted to be in Oklahoma sooner. He and his dad would travel to Norman and attend football and basketball games. But it was inside the Lloyd Noble Center where his biggest dream began to evolve. I've just been, always been a huge OU fan. But that was when I write down my goal to just go to Oklahoma and play on that L Lloyd Noble Center floor, you know. I mean, always coming to the games, you know, watching Longar, Longar, Hollis Price. All the greats play on the floor. Before his freshman year, Trey contacted the OU coaching staff about possibly walking onto the team. But the roster was already full, so he found a different way to be a part of the program, serving as a team manager all last season. Trey never lost sight of his dream, though. Each day when the Sooners' practice was over and all of his duties as a manager were complete, you would find Trey, a lot of times, all by himself in the practice gym at Lloyd Noble shooting, doing solo drills, and shooting some more. When we think about Trey, we think about a guy who like really worked his way in, into the position where he's at. Uh, we know him, even as a manager, he was still he was still here at 6 in the morning working out. He's always been in the gym, still in the gym now, and you know, you respect that. I just always believe hard work pays off and that good things will come out of it and that put in the work, the results will come. Being a manager was tough, but it was really just the extra edge I really needed to, because some days, you know, you, you don't always feel like putting the work in, but then you think, I'm this close, I'm right here, I'm, I'm watching the guys, I'm, I know the coaches, I'm right there. It just helped me just push it, just dig in and really just use it to drive me forward. And uh, it was tough at times, so I actually really needed that extra push. Trey was never afraid to put in the hard work. So when a roster spot opened this season, all of that extra time in the gym paid off, and his dream of playing for Oklahoma came true. On November 29, 2013, against Arkansas Little Rock, Trey Slate made it onto the stat sheet, scoring his first basket in a game as a Sooner, which just so happened to push OU over the 100-point mark. Trey Slate has dented the scoring column on his very first shot of the year, shooting a thousand percent. I, I've never felt anything like that before. I mean, it was it's just electric. I mean, my whole body was just numb, really, from like excitement, and uh, it was it was really fun. Just huge dream come true, and the, the practices. I mean, those those were all new. Really exciting to get out there and practice at first after just watching it for so long, actually getting to be out there for the first time. That, that, was, that was probably one of the best experiences. Trey Slate more than likely will not hit a game winner this season, but he has proven to be a very important member of the Oklahoma men's basketball team. His example alone speaks volumes about the importance of never giving up on a dream. This hard work and dedication, how it actually pays off. He stayed persistent with it, and, you know, he has goals, and he, he worked to achieve those goals, and I, that's one of the things I, res, I really respect from him. He just, he works and works and works. He does the extras. He does the little things. I'm not the, the fastest player on the court, the biggest, the strongest. Uh, haven't always been the most athletic on the court, so always got to find the edge somehow, and I believe that it's all worth it. I mean, the extra hours, all the sacrifices you have to make, not everybody's willing to do that. I think you just got to push as hard as you can go. Keep fighting. There you see the bio on Trey Slate, 6'2", from Gore High School, Gore, Oklahoma, the birthplace of Heisman Trophy winner Steve Owens is from Gore as well. Coach, what a great crop of walk-ons you have on this team. Trey is uh, Sooner fans now going to be rooting extra for him after seeing this feature. But you got some, some uh, great kids out there. No, no question. Uh, and and Jalon sums up Trey uh, in terms of how hard he's worked and 
always an upbeat attitude, always very positive, whatever he can do to, to help the team. Uh, he very clearly is excited about being uh, a Sooner, and, and uh, all the players really appreciate that. And the importance shouldn't be overlooked either of, of what they do in practice to help get the guys ready to roll. No, not not at all. You got uh, Austin Mankins and uh, Daniel Harper, James Franchella, along with Trey. Uh, you know, those guys uh, are running the scout team plays every day, and, and they do it very well. They know exactly what uh, the team need, you know, the guys that are playing in the upcoming game need to uh, do in preparation, and uh, they do a fantastic job of it. They're good players, and uh, they love being out there. All right, the Big 12 is something else this year, folks. We'll take a look at the updated Big 12 standings when we come back on Sooner Hoops with Lon Kruger. Sooner Hoops with Lon Kruger is presented by Integris Heart Hospital at Baptist Medical.